Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making gelatin desserts from a 125 year old recipe. This book is the 1896 Boston Cooking School Cookbook written by Fanny Merritt Farmer. Fanny Farmer sort of changed the game when it comes to the modern recipe. She was a very big proponent of standardized scientific measurements and easy to follow directions that led to a consistently good result over and over again. Going through this book, I chose coffee jelly, cider jelly, and wine jelly, which sound pretty interesting. So without any further ado, let's get started with coffee jelly. In order to make coffee jelly, we need two cups of boiled coffee. And at first I was like, oh, that's just normal coffee. But no, the whole beginning of the book is instructions on how to make different things. In order to make boiled coffee, you not only need coffee and water, but you also need an egg. I've seen eggs mentioned in other coffee recipes from other historical cookbooks. I know that it is a thing that was used to help filter the grounds out of coffee. I'm not looking forward to it, but I want to be as authentic as possible. So we're going to start with that. It says scald a granite ware coffee pot. I don't have that. I'm just using a regular pot. I don't like this. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> now add half a cup of cold water, which should sink to the bottom, taking the grounds with it. Now we let it sit there for 10 minutes. So while that is sitting for 10 minutes, we need to prepare the gelatin. One interesting thing about powdered gelatin is that by the time this book was written, powdered gelatin had not been available all that long. According to the Knox website, it was 1889, other places I've seen the early 1890s, when powdered gelatin was invented. Prior to this, in order to make gelatin, you had to boil animal parts for a really long time. So this was a huge boon for people working in the kitchens. One. It's congealing already. Kind of smells like animal stuff. <laughs> so it's been 10 minutes. This coffee is supposed to be in a coffee pot, so it'll be easy to pour. I did this in a regular pot and trying to skim some off the top, A, will take a very long time and B, I still see a lot of debris in it. So I think I'm going to cheat and pour it through a strainer just for some peace of mind because this is in fact egg coffee and I would rather not have shells in it. This is the gelatin after 20 minutes. Now it's time to pour this concoction into the molds and let it chill. All right, I don't even know, should I use a ladle? <laughs> now we're going to do the same thing with the cider jelly. So gross. <laughs> and finally, we have the last of the three. One cup sherry or Madeira. I chose Madeira. I am exhausted. I feel like I've been in the kitchen for 15 hours straight. My hands are sticky, but these babies are going in the fridge and after dinner, we're gonna try them. I'll do a snap transition with my sticky fingers. We're back. And now it's time to finally taste them. I honestly have no idea if these are the right types of molds. I think they're not. I think I really messed this up. I think that these molds that I bought are more for like baked goods or something. I have no idea how to get it out. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I'm gonna do my best with this one. And if that doesn't work, I'll try using a knife for the other ones. I've made a terrible mistake. There is no way this is just wrong. I could just drop it. Bon appetit, baby. This is the worst thing I've ever done. I belong in jail. Mmm, beautiful presentation. 
I'm gonna try to use my knife now. If you know me, this is really par for the course. I'm gonna use a knife to try and get this one out, which defeats the whole purpose of buying really cute molds. Well, that's better than this. F in presentation, C minus in presentation. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do the knife a little bit. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> it's really sad because at the start of this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna learn how to make these cool things and teach people and they'll be so interested and they'll try it for themselves. And now I have to change the entire name of this video so that people do not follow my instructions. But I've spent so much time and effort making them that I have to post it anyway. F, C minus, F minus. <laughs> this is so sad. But at the end of the day, it's the flavor that matters. I'll start with coffee. I don't even know if I want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. And as soon as it left the fork, I remembered that I made this with egg. You wouldn't be able to tell. This is actually really good. And I'm pretty sure that coffee jelly is like a thing in Japan. It's a Japanese treat a lot of people eat. Obviously not made this exact way. It's not bad. It could work in place of a coffee after a nice dinner. Coffee jello. Jello co coffee gelatin. Jelly coffee. <laughs> what is it called? It's jelly coffee. Coffee jelly. It's coffee jelly. It really just tastes like coffee. There's not much to describe here. It There's just a subtle flavor of coffee. It's really nice, very pleasant. Let's move on. Let's taste wine jelly. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's very refreshing. You can definitely taste that aftertaste of alcohol, but it's a sweet alcohol, so it's actually nice, rather pleasant, and just a very small hint of orange juice. I feel like this is a nice summer refreshment. You know, you could make this and everyone can have some or put it in like a wine glass. Ooh, that's a good idea. Put it in a wine glass and that is something that you can eat while outside or something in the sun, just, it's like a jello shot, but refined. Maybe there's nothing refined about eating jelly out of a wine glass. I don't know, I feel like what I'm envisioning isn't coming across in the way that I'm describing it. You know, like an hors d'oeuvre. No, hors d'oeuvres are always before meals. No, those are appetizers. <laughs> Just like a nice summer refreshment. Like, oh, here's some watermelon with, not Q-tips, what are they? Toothpicks. <laughs> I'm digging myself into a hole here. And last but not least, we have cider jelly. It looks kind of like, like a natural formation. Has anyone seen the movie Flubber? This is nice. It reminds me of applesauce which makes sense, apple cider, hard apple cider, applesauce. I don't taste any alcohol at all. I feel like this could have just as easily been made with regular apple cider. It's good, it's my least favorite. Not that it's bad, but if I had to pick, I mean, this is good for what it is. I think if I were to ever do it again, I would make it with just regular coffee. I don't think that doing it the authentic way really added anything to it. And for some peace of mind, you know, just making it with normal coffee is probably the best bet. I like it. I would definitely have this as an after meal dessert. But if I had to choose a favorite, it would probably be this one, the Madeira orange juice mix. This tastes like something you could buy mass produced, like with Jello. Like Jello might have this as a flavor. Maybe they do have, no, they don't have wine. <laughs> It's for kids. Okay, this is my favorite. Do I recommend you guys try this? Yes, but I recommend you do not use these that I use because this was a terrible mistake. Get a proper jello mold. Again, don't forget to check the video description if you want to buy your own copy of this book that I have here, like a nice prop. I swear there are things inside here besides jello. Apart from that, Please don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and bon appetit.